Okay, thank you very much. So I hope after the lunch it's not so heavy <laughs> to follow me. So, okay. Um, today I would like to show you uh, the universal protection relay, um, which supports you effectively in asset and life cycle management. The fundament of the improvement is the separation of hardware and software functionality. Therefore, we will ask first about the universal relay as device, and then uh, we will see how to add the desired functionality. And at the end, we will discuss some use cases for the new uh, and existing installations. Um, the name of the new device, of the Universal Relay, is called a Cipotec 7SX85 device. And when we develop this device, we're focusing on the challenges that our customers are facing daily. Next, that is why, why we decided to go a step beyond with the Cipotec 5 platform to offer a way to optimize even more investment and operating cost to enhance the flexibility of the product to allow you to react promptly at any time, either when the building a new substation, or even afterwards when the system gets modified, much likely to happen in other days due to a distributed generation or prosumer integration. In the following slides, I show you how to um, how the Ziprotec Universal Relay 7SX85 can support you on these topics. In the practice today, it is to use a specific relay type for different application. In a substation, we can have around 10 different types or devices or even more. The new approach is to use a universal relay, which can be adapted to cover the specific functionality to required in each bay in such a way that the same hardware can be used across the complete installation. With this approach, a single device type can be covered into a distance protection or feeder protection or a machine protection. All the three pole tripping devices listed here and can be covered by the Supertech 7SX85. Control function as such as uh, automatic voltage regulation, phaser management, uh, and also uh, cyber security features can be added to that device. The universal device makes operation easier through simplified patch management with uncomplicated integration of the new security features and effortless device driver handling. The device can be covered in a process bus application just by adding the Ethernet BD module, communication module, and some function points. The device really, uh, the universal device 7SX85 belongs to the Zipotec 5 family and enjoys the same hardware modularity uh, with the basic module you can, you can order three different versions. The first version is with eight currents and no voltages. The two other versions, both with four currents and four voltages, one with more inputs and the other one with more outputs than inputs. Additionally, all IOD modules can be used to extend the capabilities of the device up to 443 binary inputs and 225 binary outputs and uh, 64 analog inputs and up to four plug-in communication cards can be added to the, the device as well. As Zipotec 5 device, um, as any Zipotec 5 device, the 7SX can be extended to two racks of 19 inch and can contain redundant power supply. The device functionality can be freely configured to fit the protection, automation and control functions required in a three-pole tripping system, including the selectivity, uh, the selective detection of all types of ground faults and compensated and isolated electrical power systems. So the 7SX85 integrates multiple device applications. Talking about spare parts, with Zipotec 5, it is possible to optimize them at as at uh, no longer required to keep the complete devices on stock. Typical basic and I.O. modules can be stored separately and assembled when required. The next, uh, the benefit of even bigger 
when the variety of the basic modules is minimized. And this is possible with the universal device. The benefits uh, for you when you are using the universal relay in the device variety get simply uh, sim significant reduced, which also decreased the numbers of spare parts. The devices on stock have a minimum functionality, which reduced the capital employed. However, you are ready to start as an additional function can be ordered on demand and you pay it then when you downloaded the function points. It will be elaborated on that in the next chapter. Initial investment, so low as possible, but nevertheless so flexible as desired. Now that we know a single device type can cover all three pole applications, let's get have a lo closer look on the, on the flexibility in the function, uh, that the functionality works. Maybe you already, uh, you already know the CPOTEC 5 platform. The uh, typified CPOTEC 5 device contains a set of basic functions on the device type. Let's take have an example um, from the distance protection, 7SA8. In this device, the distance protection can be always added from the Zipotec 5 library without any need of function points. And it is one of the basic functionality in that device. The next protection functions, as such the auto recloser, can be added if the device has enough function points. That is an additional function required uh, function points. In the universal relay, there is no defined main functions. The required functions can be flexible added from the library. Every function requires a defined amount of functions points and the user can cover a universal relay into a transformer protection or line protection um, and so on. <clears throat> the user defines the function he wants and calculates the corresponding function points that is need to add them to the device. In this picture, um, how, I want to show how the functionality and the price model works for a 7X, 7SX85 device comparing with the specific device. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Next slide, sorry. Um, <clears throat> There are two options to add the function points. The device is directly ordered with function points or the second option is the device is ordered without function points and they are added later on focusing uh, on using the function point manager as I explained this morning. The f in the first option the device can be yeah, um, developed only with the, with the engineering or uh, can be required only when the engineering is finished. And the next, um, the function point manager and the procurement engineering can be run in parallel. And the, cust uh, the customization of the functionality will be done right before the starting the testing. The advantage, the project development time is reduced. Fast reaction, um, fast reaction time for changing occurring short before the testing or commissioning is guaranteed. And the best, it is easy or modification of functionality remains available during the complete life cycle or of the device. You order the device first, pay only for the hardware, later you add the specific functionality that you need for each device. The workflow with the, the, workflow with the function point manager is really simple. You get, uh, you get ready by creating your user account, ordering a budget of function points. You don't know, you don't have to pay for them in this time. When, you, when the time comes and you create it, you download um, yourself via DAF file with the exact amount of function points that is, that is need for your project. You can upload it to a device. The function points will be invoiced only when you downloaded the lease, uh, license files, which means you are also improving your cash flow management. Let's summarize the benefits of the function point manager. 
First, the device can be ordered at an early stage. The function point budget is purchasing independently from the device. The device function can be defined in a very late uh, phase of the engineering process and then quickly and easily imported to the device. The function points are invoiced only when you downloaded the license files. And by the way, function points can be used for all types of Zipotec 5 device. Now let's see the benefits that the universal device can bring you to the uh, can bring you to the uh, to the new or existing installation. In distribution networks, you normally find transformer, lines, generator, capacitor banks, and so on. All these protection types can be covered by the 7SX85. This is also valid for industry facilities where the predominantly uh, two types of base are found, the motor and the feeder base. The 7SX85 can cover both functionalities. You can take the same hardware to adapt it to the different application. The identical device types of 7SX85 can be used for multiple requirements. The simplification in engineering is also a plus with the universal device. Let's take an example with five different types of typicals. For your start, you start with the basic parameterization. Right from the beginning, you can save engineering time by using one of the predefined templates that you can find in Dixie. You adapt the identical parameters in this case for, for the five typicals. You have the same braking devices, uh, measuring points, display pages, time synchronization, generally use protection function, and so on. So you deal with all these parameters only once. You save this basic parameterization in a so-called user application template file. And this is really a specific user application template. This is then adapted uh, to the particulars of each temp typical. Completing the main protection functions and the specific CFC logics, you optimize your engineering even when you different hardware modules can be added to the device. But the benefits are not only visible for new installation. When you are when you are using the universal relay, you stay in an excel, excellent position to adapt your system to any upcoming challenge in your grid. It can be changed for protection in the line base and adaption of scheme due to the new lo um, local, local renewable integration or any other arising requirement, you name it. The adaption is straightforward. Open the parameterization in Dixie, uh, delete the protection functions, is not required anymore. Insert the parameterization of the new protection functions. If required, extend the hardware or the communication modules and ready it. In a CProtec 5, a 7SX85, it is possible to switch between the main function on a very simple way. Even you have an installation with typified, uh, typic, typified devices, you could still benefit from a universal device. Let's assume the grid, uh, exper uh, the grid has some changes and as a result uh, to need to replace the existing distance protection or line differential protection relay in the space. You replace the 7SA86 module by a 7SX85 you remember that the universal device can, be, can only be replaced by a three-port tripping device. You don't need to exchange the complete device. Only the existing, uh, existing I.O. extension modules can be still being used. And the best, you can easily cover the existing 7SA parameterization for the 7SX85. Moreover, with the 7SX85 can actually use the parameterization from any Zipotec 5 device. Keep in mind, the universal device could be also used as spare part for the existing 7SJ85 devices. 
even if you have an installation with, typif with typified devices, you can still benefit from the universal devices. Let's assume that the grid... Sorry, I'm not really sure. Yeah, stop. Sorry. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This was double. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> the parameterization, the parameterization is covered uh, a couple with a couple of clicks. The existing parameter set of the seven S seven S A eighty six or seven S J eighty five can be exported use, uh, exported using the total integration energy exchange for, uh, format means TX. And they imported it to the 7SX85 parameterization. That is really easy. Benefits for you. When you are using the universal relays in a device variety, it gets simplific uh, significant reduced, which also decreases the numbers of spare parts. The device on stock have a minimum of functionality, which reduces the capital employment. However, you are ready to start as an additional function can be ordered on demand and paid when you download it. It will be elaborate on that. It will be elaborate on that, and um, the investments so low as possible, but nevertheless the flexibility as desired. Time for summarize the session. We have seen today how the universal device brings advantages during the complete life cycle of device. Peace of mind while planning as the customization of the device is done at the later stage. Speed up the construction of due to an early hardware acquisition and improved engineering process. Full flexibility that helps to reduce the implementation times and to react prompt and efficiently at any time. And the smooth operation by simplification of the patch management and the device driver handling. We come to an end of the presentation. Thank you very much. And now time for your questions. Thank you.